Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to Joe's Healthy Cupboard. I hope you're all doing well today. Just thought I would take this opportunity to do a little video because, you know, with mum life, it's very hard to find those little moments, especially with Ivy Rose being so much more active. I'm sorry if I'm looking about again. I keep using my phone to record videos and I just don't know where I'm looking. Now that Ivy Rose is more active and vocal, shall we say, it's much harder for me to find time to record videos between work and um, my vlog and all the other things I'm doing. Um, but my husband is just home, so I'm gonna take this opportunity to do a little update on the reusable nappy situation. So this may or may not be of interest to you. If it's not, then go straight to one of my food videos. There's plenty of those or one of my healthy food hauls. Um, but this is gonna be about reusable nappies because the sustainability and all of that kind of stuff is becoming more and more of interest to me. And I'm just becoming far more aware of all of the things that I could be doing to just contribute my little bit to not creating so much waste as a family and all of that stuff. And reusable nappies is something I felt strongly that I really wanted to try and get to grips with. Um, but if you watched my last video, which I'll link below, you'll know I had major fears about that. So anyway, here's an update. I started with the wipes and that was going really well. I think I did that for a couple of days before the nappies started arriving. So I ordered some second-hand nappies from the um, Facebook page, which I'll put here. And I also ordered some new ones, just kind of looked around, watched some YouTube videos, tried to get my head around the different types because it is a minefield. There is a lot of information out there, people with differing opinions. But what I would say is, yeah, try the um, Nappy Lady Facebook page. And if you can grab some on there secondhand, then you can try out the ones that you, that, you know, different types of nappies to see which ones will suit you best. So far, there are two types that I really like. So I'm just gonna kind of talk a little bit about them and also just any other things I think are important as accessories because there's another load of stuff you don't really need. So I have a few different types of nappies. So the first one, I think this is called a pop-in nappy. This was one of the ones I bought new. It's Tickle Tots is the brand and I really love the yellow um, color and the pattern with the ducks on it. And this has a pop-in insert, which is why it's a pop-in nappy. Probably someone will correct me. And inside there are these little buttons that you pop the um, liner into, like so. Um, I love the pattern on this and I love the outer shell, but I have to say I'm not a huge fan of the really thick kind of liner. Um, I'm sure in, as in most brands you can pick the type of liner, but I think I just went with the all-in-one that came with this. The reason why I'm not so keen on it is because it takes so long to dry. And I guess because we've only got um, so far maybe seven nappies, I'm not at the moment doing it every day with every single nappy, we're just trying to figure it out. So the days when I'm fully with Ivy Rose, I'm using these, and if they're all clean, then I'm using them whenever I can. But obviously we need more. I'm, I was just trying to work out which ones I like best. So that is the pop-in Tickle Tots. And as I said, I do really like it, but I, I'm i not sure what um, you know other options there are in terms of the liner, because I find this is too thick and takes too long to dry. I also use, um, a liner because I'm not gonna lie I don't really want to have to scoop poop with a spoon or other implement and this is biodegradable so all you do is place that on top of the nappy and if you catch it quick enough it just goes straight down the line not gonna lie I have had one situation where I attempted to wipe a really messy nappy with a reusable wipe and ended up having to throw away the wipe because you know shoot me but I was not gonna put a poop covered wipe into the washing machine and yeah it just was too bad to clean just being honest I know that's not ideal but it's only happened once and I've learned my lesson that in future if it's a really messy poo I will use a normal water wipe just to get the worst parts off and then I will use the reusable wipe to clean up the reusable wipes are amazing they're so good I've been loving them apart from that one incident we've also had one incident with a nappy where the poo got completely squashed in TMI um, but I did take that outside to a bucket and scrub it, um, but that's only happened once. Other types of reusable nappies I've got, again, this is not my favourite, it's far too thick, 
Um, this is one we were gifted by a friend. It's called Baby First. I think it's a New Zealand brand. Again, I really do like the um, popper kind of outer shell like that. But um, the inner just sits on top and it is very thick and it does, I feel, restrict her movement a little bit. Again, I would put the line on top. I will use all of these. I don't have a problem using them. They're just not going to be the ones I invest in. Um, this is one that we absolutely love. Um, not only does it dry super quick, I would say like literally almost overnight if I hang it on the dryer and then it's near to the heater, but not directly on the heater. So this is an all-in-one. Um, I can't remember the technical term. And it's got this bit as well so that it makes it easier to pull out. So what happens with this one is that you stuff it inside the nappy. These are by far my favourite ones. Um, and there's um, also ones that have a pocket that you can push inside. So you push that in there like that. And again, that is the nappy. And you put the biodegradable liner in and it's velcro i also prefer the vel velcro to the poppers i think these are amazing and this is the bambino mio um all in one bambino mio and there's a lot of those available on the nappy lady website i've just ordered some more i've got two of these and i love them this one was just a oh this is a baban boo so i just got the liner with this one that's sorry the outer um whatever this is called i don't know what you call it technically nappy bit um, and I thought it was really cute because it's like a bee. So this is a second-hand one again. Um, and it's a popper. I love this one. Um, and this is one where you put the liner inside. So the nappy has a pocket at the back. Um, and then you just get the liner and you put it inside the nappy like that. The one thing about these ones is pulling them out um, when they're covered in weeds. Not always the nicest, but just wash your hands or whatever, use a glove. That is that one. Um, and I really like those too. So, and there's one more that I absolutely love. It's just, oops. Unfortunately, it's just been used. And that is the Little Lamb brand. Absolutely love them. They're the same as this, as in you put the insert into the pocket. I'll insert a picture of the Little Lamb nappy here. But the Little Lamb is probably my favourite of all. Their liners are really thin, they dry really quickly. I think they're bamboo, but I absolutely love them. And they're the cheapest to buy new, and I bought one new, and I'm going to buy some more. Absolutely love them. So I would say for us, less of a fan of the pop-in or lay-in kind of liners. Either the ones that have the pocket at the back. I'm not sure the technical terms or the all-in-one which is definitely my favorite where you literally and these ones also have a little toggle bit so when you pull the dirty um nappy out you just do that and then it all goes in the wash together um and you don't have to faff around and I'm going to show you what I've been keeping them in I would say you don't need a nappy bucket um it takes up too much room I have a nappy bag you also don't need the mesh liners, which I wasted money on for the inside. Personally, haven't used those, or maybe I've used them once, but you don't really need them. I wash them in the washing machine. You do need the nappy um, powder. So I've got a specific nappy wash powder, which I'll show you. So this, this is the powder I ordered online. It's vegan, cruelty-free, and it's parmaviolet. Smells really good, and it's by the brand Tots Bots. Um, so I've been using that. What I do is I gather all the nappies once they're dirty. Um, I store them in this nappy bag in the bathroom, which I got on Amazon. Um, takes up a lot less room, keeps any smells in, it's all good. So I think it was about £12. Um, I can link that below as well. When the nappies are dirty, I tip them all into the washing machine with the reusable wipes. I wash them on a quick 30 wash with a little bit of essential oils. And I've been using the... I've been using the cheeky wipes, lavender and chamomile oil, just a couple of drops of that. And then I put them through um, uh, on 50 or 60 degrees with the actual wash powder. So that is how I wash them. Um, so far, that's worked for us. I just need more nappies. As I said, this is all learning for us as a family. And I am really pleased with how it's been going. I would like to do it every day with every nappy, but at the moment that's just not realistic because we've only got about seven nappies. So it's been maybe like half a day or however many nappies we've got or a full day. And then I'm using a normal nappy at night. But 
I'm definitely saved. We've been, our waste has been, our waste has been so much less, our household waste. Uh, that's something I've not noticed massively. And um, the wipes, I still use wipes, but only like, as I said, for a really bad poo or if we're out and about. Um, I've also got a little bag that I um, carry I've, I've, as I've mentioned this before, I keep the cheeky wipes for the bum and then I use cut up old um, towels and face cloths for her face and hands, which I keep in the kitchen and I also take when I'm going out and about. So we have this little jar in the kitchen where I just put the cut up cloths. They're just basically cut up towels and face cloths that we don't use keep them in here and we use those for her hands and face. I also take those out when I go out and about um, in my little white bag, which I also showed on my last video. So yeah, I hope that was of interest. If you've got any questions, please comment below or if you've got any suggestions of nappies that you think are amazing. I'm about to get the bum genius ones to try. I've ordered one of those secondhand and I'm gonna get some more of the little lambs because I love them and I've got another Bambino Mio on the way. So we're getting to the point where we're gradually gonna have enough to do full-time um, reusable nappies apart from at night. So I'm really happy about that and yeah so much easier than I thought. If you've been considering it, please just start. Get started, even if it's just one nappy a day or two nappies a day to begin with. You're making a difference for the planet and you are also just, you know, it's just a little bit at a time. And I think that if you can do it, then it's a great thing to do. Also not using the wipes on your baby's bum because they contain a lot of different ingredients that probably aren't that great for the skin but I know what it's like being a mum and sometimes the easiest option you know we all have to do things that fit into our lifestyle don't forget to subscribe and have an amazing weekend